Hello, it's Hank. Um, this is weird. I'm gonna try and write a script while you're watching. Um, I don't know how that's gonna go. It's probably just gonna be weird, but maybe uh, it'll be useful to someone out there. So the script I want to write, uh, it's currently called Untitled Document. It's gonna be about comments on the internet. Um, this is gonna be really weird. I have no idea if this is gonna work. So we're just gonna name it Comments for now. That name will not be the name of the video. And I start, this is nice to have a tool to start every script with. And then, look, I've started. So I'm not just staring at a blank screen anymore. Good morning, John. Um, I'm not sure, so I, I know the, the like vague thesis of this thing, which is that uh, I don't think internet comments are as bad as everybody else thinks they are. There is just sort of, uh, you know, everybody knows, don't look at the comments. YouTube comments are a cesspool of waste and disgustingness. People look at Vlogbrothers videos and they say, whoa, there's a corner of the internet where vlog where comments aren't terrible. How weird. Um, so my goal is to say, uh, well, maybe, but is that... I th I think that so yes I agree that internet comments are terrible but but the uh, the the thesis has been that it's because of anonymity that anonymity allows and like I've n I've seen no data to support this and I've looked that anonymity creates uh, like like people are all evil on the inside and once you allow them to be anonymous then their evil comes out and see we've got evidence of that right here on comments on the internet because these people can be anonymous and look that they're terrible see look how terrible they are um, but I don't believe that I don't think now I'd, I'm willing to be swayed so um, my first thing that I'm doing is, is is researching this so I've got the psychology of online comments open twice here for some reason um, several weeks ago on September 24th this is you know how you gotta start videos you have an idea and you're like well let's see um, uh, let's see if this is actually viable or interesting and if there's anything that we can we can talk about so uh, popular science has banned comments on its website I just found this by by searching for internet comments it was like the third thing down um, according to a sep September Pew poll a quarter of internet users have posted comments anonymously well that's a surprisingly low number as the age of a user decreases his reluctance to link a real name his with an online remark increases. Agreed, that makes sense. 40% of people on the 18 to 29 year old demographic have posted anonymously. Well, I, haven't all people on the internet posted anonymously? Am I? Sorry, I might just be confused about this. One of the most common critiques of online comments cites a disconnect between the commenter's identity and what he or she is saying. Let's not pretend that women can't be trolls, guys. Phenomenon that the psychologist John Suler memorably termed the online disinhibition disinhib dis disin disinhibition effect. Okay, wow, there's a, a PubMed article. So that's for legit from 2004. Well, that seems a little outdated. While online, some people self disclose or act out more frequently or intensely than they would in person. I Yes, I agree with that. The article explores six factors that interact with each other. Uh, too bad I can't read the whole article. Can I read the whole article? No? Let's look this up and see if I can read it on Google Scholar. <clears throat> full text, please. Full text, full text. Ah, I don't want to pay fifty-one dollars for 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 twenty-four hours of viewing. Don't want to do that. That's dumb. Come on. Hello. Doot de doot 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 doot. Well, where is it? 
Okay, now I'm clicking on this, and I'm back to where I was before. Oh, references cited by how to cite author information. Mark Connolly, I have to like this. Get PDF. Ah, it's always so. Uh, I don't have no. Okay, well, what are the things? What are the six things? Six things that interact: dissociative anonymity, invisibility, asynchronicity, solipsistic interjection, dissociative imagination, and minimizing of authority. Personality variables will also influence the extent of disin disinhibition. Rather than thinking of disinhibition as the revealing of an underlying true self, which is what we generally think we're talking about when we're talking about online comments being evil. We think that there's some evil lurking on all people, except, of course, ourselves. Uh, we can conceptualize it as a shift to a constellation within self-structure, oh my goodness, involving clusters of effect and cognition that differ from the in-person constellation. Constellation? Is that like a psychological term? I don't know. Hmm. The effects of, and then there's re related articles over here, um, online communications among adolescents, uh, developing a model of adolescent friendship formation on the internet, effects of motivations on gender, uh, motivations and gender on adolescents, self, uh, self disclosure in online chatting, disinhibition, its effects on appetite, and that's a different kind of disinhibition, I think. So let's check out this self disclosure one. Self disclosure on the internet, the effects of anonymity on the self and the other. See, this, uh, this sounds interesting to me. The effects of anonymity on self disclosure were investigated in a computer mediated communication. Uh, situation by separately manipulating the anonymity of the self and the other. It was hypothesized that anonymity of the self would enhance disclosure, whereas anonymity of the other would decrease it. What? Female undergraduate students were randomly assigned to a two-by-two two experimental design. The anonymity of this... Oh, this is like one-on-one -on -one conversation. The anonymity of this of the self and the other was manipulated in the profile, such as the photo, name, and sex of the self or the other on the computer screen. The results indicated that the anonymity of the self decreased the feeling of anxiety, makes sense, had no effect on disclosure, whereas anonymity of the other decreased the feeling of closeness and decreased the intimacy of disclosure. That doesn't sound interesting to me at all. That is exactly the uh, effect that I would have predicted. N I mean, that's perfectly legitimate research, but uh, it's not helping me with my... So so let's let's copy and paste these, these things. I'm going to have to guess what they are, because God only knows... What is it? Comments. What's this one? Oh, this is an old script. Um, so, dissociative anonymity invisibility, asynchronicity. Well, I know what that is. It's thing not happening at the same time. So you're yelling into a void, um, and there's, there's the conversation is not two-way, so you get to argue with yourself for a little while. Solipsistic interjection, dissociative imagination, and minimizing of authority. So um, the reason that I wanted to make this video, which is probably how I'm going to start the video, is that uh, in the Nerdfighter census, a lot of people said that they don't comment on Vlogbrothers videos because they are afraid of the comments. Uh, let me make sure that I'm recording here. I am. Okay. Um, so let's let's start. Let's start out. Oh, this is going to be hard to, to do this with you watching. <laughs> um, good morning, John. This is difficult. Uh, so what did I do? Not demographic. Sociological. Did you put Lonnie out? I did. She, yeah. 
and then I left her out there for too long and then she looked at and then I realized that I did all the dishes with her still outside and then I let her in and she was like oh I'm fine can I have a bone please <laughs> yep <laughs> waiting there standing forever I freeze like a dog popsicle if we did it in winter <laughs> just yep she'd just be standing there staring at the door <laughs> And uh, so a respectful sociological researcher would light a baby on fire for. That's probably not the best. But you know what I'm going getting at. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> Scripts would be funnier if uh, if I didn't have to worry <laughs> about making metaphors like light a baby on fire for. That's not funny. Yeah, it's only funny to some people, but not all people. Um, but yes, I will fix that later. <laughs> Some very dramatic thing. Some very dramatic. Uh, but it's very difficult for me to do this with you watching, as I say. Um, question mark? And now I actually want to load the census up. Because I want to actually see what the data says, because it's been a long time. How often do you comment on videos? Uh, only if I have something to add. If, so never is the by far the most, and rarely. So that takes up about 60%. And then uh, and then the other 30%. So 90% of people basically don't. And then, uh, and then I, I say, somewhere on here, I believe I asked people to wait. Right. Okay, so now, wait. You can't do text analysis with this many results. Uh, I never log on to YouTube. I usually don't have anything constructed. I have to, I'm more of a quiet observer. Don't have anything meaningful to say, nothing to say. Don't want stalkers. That's terrifying. The YouTube comment section is scary because I already see my opinion expressed because YouTube comments are a dark and scary place. Ah, uh, because I'm a towering mountain of ignorance. I never felt like low self-esteem, just apathetic, catching up with videos, no idea. Avoiding hate. Don't have an account. People in YouTube comments are annoying as hell, so I just don't read them. I don't feel like it. I don't have a channel. Uh, I don't have anything to say. I usually get into arguments. I refuse to get Google Plus. I don't want to embarrass myself too much. Um, can I search for hate? Let's search for hate. I have no idea how this is going to work. If it's going to tell me the number of times the word hate appears, that would be nice. That would be helpful. I hate trolls. I really hate trolls. Showing 78 responses for hate. What about trolls? I'm feeling like it's not surging all 30 responses, 30,000 responses. 
is my guess. It really feels that way to me. What about what if I search for comments? Because if that's not more than a hundred, then <laughs> or more than a thousand with thirty thousand people replying, it's definitely not searching all thirty thousand. It's too fast. Yeah, thousand. So one thing I I mean obviously I can say uh, that lots of people said that they were afraid. They were, they, let's let, let's look for the word afraid. I wish I could do ors, but I can't. <sighs> Sorry, I'm not entertaining you. You get to see how boring this is. Yeah, so 36 people saying. Um, Afraid of confrontation, afraid of the backlash, afraid of receiving hate, afraid of backlash, afraid of the incorporation of Google Plus, cyber bullies, rude people, angry internet people. Comments scare me. Comments scare me. I'm scared of being attacked for my opinion. Uh, because I'm scared of being yelled at. YouTube comments scare me because I'm scared to voice my opinion. I have anxiety. I'm scared of other people's criticism. I'm scared of getting negative comments made toward me. People scare me. I'm scared of hate. I'm scared of judgment. I'm just scared. I'm scared to have an opinion on the internet unless it's Tumblr. <laughs> scared to say anything. Scared that people will be disrespectful. People are scared of me. The internet internet comments scare me. I'm scared of commenting. I'm scared of human inter interaction. That's slightly different. This is more of a profile of anxiety than it is of. Um, now I'm rethinking this. I still want to make the video, but I'm rethinking the the survey aspect of it. Shy person. So this is YouTube comments scare me. Scared to embarrass myself. Scared to express my feelings. Hmm. Abusive responses. Um, interesting. So, starting over from the top here. Um, I'm here to debunk a myth. At least, I think it's a myth as previously discussed. I am a towering mountain of ignorance. So, um, it's very very hard to, uh, to have an opinion anymore after realizing how, uh, how, how people don't really have the right to have opinions because we're all probably wrong. But no one's right. No one's 100% right. But anyway, uh, Okay, um, I think the thing I want to say is that the internet, this is, this is the pith. Um, the internet doesn't bring out the worst in people. It brings out the worst people. So that's the, that's the, that's the quotable moment here. Um, so, so, so I'm here to debunk a myth. A myth that probably all of us believe
a fountain of vomitous hate. That's not how you spell vomitous? Jeez. Uh, The argument ah. <laughs> the ar ah. Suppose there's a dickhead. <laughs> what's, uh, what's a word I can use instead of dickhead? A shit stick, a cock face, a douchebag, yeah. Imagine, if you will, a douchebag. I would prefer something a little more socially acceptable. Asshole is the actual word for what I want. So what's, I guess, imagine, if you will, if you will, a D-bag. <laughs> That's pretty funny.
I hope it's okay that I'm assuming this guy's a man. Uh, um, imagine, if you will, a D-bag. This person goes on the internet and says nasty things to people. He's a racist and he's a sexist and no one likes him. He has no friends because he doesn't like people and because people don't like him. On average, he expresses his beliefs in person to zero people per day in the physical world. Unless he happens to have some D-bag friend. Uh, let's not say the internet, let's say anonymity. Anonymity doesn't bring out the worst in people, it simply brings out the worst people. Okay, so, good morning, John. I'm here to debunk a myth. A myth that's probably... A myth that probably all of us believe. A simple statement that's... A simple statement that there's no way not to believe. The internet clearly brings out the worst in people. Like. I mean, you've seen the comments. People see comments on... YouTube comments are a cultural cesspool. We all know this. People see comments on Vlogbrothers and people see comments on Vlogbrothers and they say, oh, "Oh my, the only sane place on the internet, which, as we all know, allows the allows the deep evil inside of every human, except for me, of course, to spew forth in a fountain of vomitous hate." And yeah, I see it on our sex episode of Crash Course Psychology. Comments getting voted up saying homosexuality is, is a disease, and there are two hosts on SciShow Sh- Space, one male and one female. Yeah, guess which one gets more hate? Guess which one gets comments on their appearance every single video? There's no denying this. But you never really see those people in the real world. I mean, you and your friends, you aren't hate mongers. There must be other people then. The people at the grocery store who seem so nice but who don't but who you don't really know. They must go home to the anonymity of the internet. They must go home and the anonymity of the internet allows them to share their shrug off their Yeah, allows them to shrug off their cultural burden. Shrug off their cultural burden. That's the argument. And yes, anonymity does have some... That's the argument. But I want to make a hypothesis hypothesis here. Anonymity doesn't bring out the worst in people. It simply brings out the worst people. Imagine, if you will, a D-bag. This person goes on the internet and says nasty things to people. He's a racist, and he's a sexist, and no one likes him. He has no friends because he doesn't like people and because people don't like him. On average, he expresses his beliefs to zero people in the physical world per day, unless he happens to have a D-bag friend to reinforce his peculiar beliefs. But on the internet, he not only gets to express his views, he gets to argue about them. This is a kind of power, getting a reaction out of people. He gets to carefully craft his response to every comment. He gets to carefully craft his response to every comment. It's fun. It's a game. People play along. IRL, this wouldn't be fun at all. It would be terrifying. But in this way, it's just a little thrilling. It's a rush. This person isn't a sweetheart all day long. The reason you don't meet internet trolls in real life is because they're hiding. is isn't because they're hiding. It's because they don't talk to people because they've been ostracized by society because they suck. They are suck. (laughs) Of course, this is just a theory, but it would be a fairly easy theory to test because I bet internet trolls... Phil?
And honestly, I think finding out about these people is vital because the culture of the internet is greatly influenced by this narrative. People believe that commenters are abusive, and so good people avoid comments. YouTube tends, nowadays, tends to promote discussion rather than good comments, leading to hateful comments that get lots of discussion, that get discussion flowing, being constantly promoted. Indeed, hate is what Trolling This is already too long, by the way. No, it's not. It's not too long. Dissociative anonymity, invisibility, asynchronicity, solipsistic interjection. I don't know what that is. Dissociative imagination. I don't know what that is. And minimization of authority. I don't know what that is either. I guess minimization of authority might be like um, sort of the sort of cultural authority of of people nearby and around not being there, sort of the panopticon not watching when you're on the internet because you're in your house. You can tell nobody's watching, nobody sees you. <sighs> um, 2004, we should have done better and more research since then. This is like, I honestly think this is a huge deal. Like, I think internet comments i think like the, the narrative that the internet is a dangerous cesspool so there's like a there's an article here that i loaded up um and it says uh, our addiction to the internet is as harmful as any drug and what passes for comment these days is often simply foul abuse the focus on surfing rather than proper reading has impoverished literature oh robert fisk you are so indignant uh, 6,000 shares. Uh, that's so good. You're so successful. Something rotten in the state of technology. I only realized the extent of what I wrote in the Irish government is, uh, yeah, people sucked. People sucked. Um, I don't know. Maybe I need a stronger outline here because I feel like I'm, I'm sort of wobbling around um, so we've got uh, introduction here which I think is pretty strong I could probably I could probably cut it down some it's pretty long um, but let's just say intro this is also kind of intro it's more and then this is my thesis statement here, which is really deep. Because um, there's a thing I want to say, which is that um, the belief that the internet is a is is a is a cesspool of of negative interaction is uh, I think it holds the internet back. And I mean, think if you actually look at what the internet like what social structures on the internet have done, it's pretty impressive. Like there are lots of really constructive and, inter and, and interesting places and, um, and on YouTube and on you know social media sites that are broad like Tumblr um, and social media sites that are narrow like Facebook and social media sites that are uh, both broad and narrow like Reddit. 
and uh, and then like information distribution sites like uh, like Wikipedia um, and information creation and curation sites like Wikipedia. It's just so much cool stuff, and 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 I also think that there might be uh, so so. There's that thing. The internet is great. That's a section I want to have, and then um, people aren't terrible. That that is an important point. That's something I definitely want to say. Um, so I obviously write poorly. Uh, if I had done this correctly, I would have started out and I would have said, "Okay, what is it that I want to say? I want an introduction. I want my thesis statement, and I want to say, um, I want to explain the psychology of an internet troll a little bit." And this is all intro like I, I probably should make more. Um, I do. I say that this is, of course, a theory. Um, so uh, the psychology of the internet troll here. Ah. Troll psych. Um, and then this is, of course, but I would absolutely. Uh, and I like, I really like, I honestly like, if I, I had time, I would do this research myself. It sounds fascinating and useful. Um, uh, culture of the internet is great. and the internet is great people believe that commenters are abusive so good people avoid the comments um, or even the entire internet and the internet is great It's not the structure. It's not the. It's not the person. Not the person, or an increase in the number of people. It's simply that those people get highlighted when there are hundred thousand people in a room. Some of them are going to suck. That's another good point. Um, and the structure of the psychology. results in only Yeah, I need to tighten both of these sections. I need to tighten my, and that won't be a problem. And I need to tighten this. I got my thesis statement is good, but I need to tighten this, this debug thing. I mean, it kind of says everything I want to say. Like there, there's a lot there. YouTube nowadays tends to actually promote discussion rather than good comments, leading to hateful comments that get discussion flowing, flowing, uh, being constantly promoted. Indeed, the entire goal of trolls is to get is to get discussion because they want interaction. They want interaction. It makes them feel superior and it makes them feel connected. I'm gonna take out this because I don't like pity. Isn't really part of this. This is just a discussion. Um, We all think the internet is less great. The internet will be less great. But my greater worry
Sometimes it's hard to find the moment to end. <laughs> I noticed that I'll have like written like for two sentences after, um, after the, I, I actually found a good ending. So word count seven hundred and seventy. That is too long, everybody. Well, these aren't those aren't in the script. Seven hundred fifty-eight. That's still too long, everybody. Uh, I could I could squeeze that in, but I'd rather not. Um, good morning, John. I'm here to debunk a myth. A myth that probably all of us believe, a simple statement that there's no way not to believe. The internet clearly brings out the worst in people. I mean, you've seen the comments. Uh, I can take out most of this. We all know the anonym that anonymity allows the deep evil inside of every human, except me, of course, to spew forth in a fountain of vomitous hate. Yeah, I see it in our sex. So, like, to be clear, um, uh, <laughs> just so you know, I'm mentioning these things because I also want to promote them. I want to, I want people to realize that we did a sex episode on psych, on Crash Course Psychology, and that uh, and that sexual space is a thing, and that you should check it out and say nice things about Caitlin, who pretty much only has shitty things said said about her, and like every fucking video she does, it's a thing. It's really infuriating, and she handles it very well and keeps getting better despite it. So, go Caitlin. And yeah, I see it, I see it. On our sex episode of Crash Course Psychology, comments getting voted up that say homosexuality is a disease, and there are two hosts on SciShow, one SciShow Space, one male and one female, and guess which one gets more hate? Guess which one gets comments on in their appearance every single video? Tit. <laughs> uh... Ver, but you and your friends, you aren't hate mongers. It must be other people, the people at the grocery store who seem so nice, but when you, but, but who do you, who seem so nice, but who you don't really know. They must go home, uh, and they must go home, and the anonymity of the internet allows them to shrug off their cultural burden. Uh, Dingleberry? <laughs> no. That's good. Total turds. And become total turds. Yeah, that's good. But I want to make a hypothesis here. Anonym Anonymity doesn't bring out the worst in people. It simply brings out the worst people. Imagine, if you will, a D-bag. This person goes on the internet and says nasty things to people. He's a racist and he's a sexist and no one likes him. Uh, I, I get to that later, and he's a se and he's a sexist. He has no friends because pe because he doesn't like people, and because people don't like him. On average, he expresses his beliefs to zero people on in the physical world per day, unless he happens to have a d-bag friend to reinforce his peculiar beliefs. Let's just cut that. But on the internet, he not only gets to express his views, he gets to argue about them. This is a kind of power, getting a reaction out of people. He gets to carefully craft his response in every comment. It's fun. It's a game. People play along. It's fun. I don't need it's a game. It's fun. People play along. IRL, this wouldn't be fun at all. It would be terrifying, but this way, it's just a little thrilling. It's a rush. I do, like, I know that this is how people feel, because I have felt this way. Uh, not... I mean, I guess you could call it trolling, you know, like talking about evolution to creationists. That's that kind of trolling. Um, and like, I remember doing it when I was a kid. So I don't remember how it made me feel. Like, I'm superior to you. You are an idiot. That's how it made me feel. I'm not proud. This person isn't a sweetheart all day long. The reason you don't meet internet trolls in real life isn't because they're hiding. It's because they don't talk to people because they've been ostracized 
ostracized by society because they suck. This is, of course, a theory, but it would be a fairly easy theory to test because I bet internet trolls would absolutely love to fill out surveys for some psychology graduate students. They're bored at home, and all they want to do is find ways to interact with other humans. And honestly, I think... And honestly, I think finding out about these people is vital because the culture of the internet is greatly influenced by this narrative. People believe that commenters are abusive, and so good people avoid the comments, and the, or even the entire internet, and the... Uh, so what I did here is instead of calling out to create supportive local social spaces uh, individually, vocally, I'm just going to have the logos pop up because that way I won't be wasting time talking about them. <sighs> it's not the per it's not the person an increase of in p number of people. What what in the in the number of people? <laughs> Wow, <laughs> what was I, what was going on there? Uh, what am I talking about? But when there are 100,000 people in a room, some of them are going to suck. And the psychology of the internet results in most of the nice people being quiet, quiet about their niceness, while trolls... Happy to comment at every, at every available opportunity. YouTube nowadays tends to actually promote discussion rather than promote discussion rather than good comments, leading to hateful comments that get discussion flowing, being constantly promoted. YouTube nowadays tends to actually promote discussion. Ah, I got it, got it, got it, got it. YouTube nowadays actually tends to promote discussion rather than good comments, leaving, leading to hateful comments that get discussion flowing, being constantly promoted. Indeed, the entire goal of trolls is to get discussion, because they want interaction. It makes them feel superior, and it makes them feel connected. And if we... So this is separate from, and so is this. Um, so let's see if that makes more sense. I don't know if it will. Um, but if we think the internet is less great, the internet will be less great. But my greater worry is that we'll look at the comments on a YouTube video and think, well, look at this. At least a third of these people are simply t At least a third of these people are terrible. And then by extension, we'll believe that a third of people in the world are terrible. That's simply not true. Comment discussions select for D-bags because they make the place hostile for everyone else. Now, when there's 100,000 people... Now, now is a good... Now is a good... Now, when there's 100,000 people in a room, some of them are going to suck. And the psychology of the internet results in most of the nice people being quiet about their niceness, while the trolls are happy to comment at every available opportunity. YouTube nowadays tends to actually promote discussion rather than good comments, leading to hateful comments, leading leading to hateful comments that get dis hateful comments that get discussion flowing being constantly promoted indeed the entire goal of trolls is to get dis to get discussion because they want interaction it makes them feel superior and it makes them feel connected let me guarantee you having met, met a great number of people people are actually pretty cool not because culture tells them they have to be not because they're afraid of being found out but because they're people, just like me, and just like you. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.
694. That is short enough. Um, so I, th I mean, at the end uh, here, I also there's a little something I'm doing here because of that anxiety that I kept seeing in the comments on the survey. Um, people saying I'm I'm scared, um, and that scares me a little bit because I want people to feel welcome. I want people to feel like not only Vlogbrothers com comments are a place that wants and needs their contributions, but the world is. I don't want to like call out anxiety specifically here, um, but very sort of vaguely and generally uh, to share that people are people. And in my experience, about 90% of them are good. Now that's not a great percentage. It's not, um, you know, I would prefer that for that to be much higher, but it's high. Anyway, I think that this is a pretty good script. Um, I'm going to record it without, um, I'm going to record it without editing it, and then I'm going to upload it, and I'm going to let somebody else edit it. This is all part of an experiment that I'm doing to be open and um, and and uh, see what kind of cool things can happen if I just mess around. Uh, sorry if this was extremely boring. And uh, uh, yeah, um, I've been quiet because Catherine's in the other room, probably trying to sleep. So um, yeah. Okay, that's all. Yep.